just finished episode two of Rap Shit. Uh, I don't know. I, uh, the jokes weren't joking. You know, I was waiting on the laugh. I, I just feel like I'm too old or something because I, I wasn't laughing. I wanted to laugh. Welcome back to my channel. It's Tyra here with another struggle review. We're here to discuss episode two of Rap Shit. Uh, I, I just feel like I'm trying to force myself to like this show. <laughs> and I can give a fuck about anybody dropping down. Oh, girl, if you don't like the show, why are you watching it? Just don't even talk about it. Just watch something else. Talk about something else. Shut up. <laughs> I'm going to talk about it regardless because there may be a couple of people who identify with just it not growing on them like that. Go back, 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 back. hopefully subscribe to see more of me let's get into this show this is not a bad show something with it is just not clicking with me and it's hard to explain because i don't quite know what it is but for some reason to sum it up in this episode apart from the acting because that's just gonna be what it is but for some reason i started thinking about <laughs> Shabon boo! They're trying to hide the, the good stuff over here. Yeah, I want to dance, but not with you. <laughs> harass, harass. You know, that's just, I don't know why that was, you know, playing and, you know, you know in rotation in my mind or, you know, Laquita. Shut up, you know, um, Don't ask me how my mind works. I don't know. I just talk. Seriously, I do see that this show is for a particular demographic. It is very current, it is very now. I feel like it is for the younger generation while at the same time trying to appeal to the older ones who may, you know, really have been there for hip hop in its current state. And just, uh, you know, even with the, the music choices that we get in, you know, little Trina, little, you know, they, they, they throw it back for female rap, but I don't think the mixture is working per se. I think in particular, this is really for, you know, under 25. All while still doing things that we can all probably identify with, with both Shauna and Mia. Shauna, this episode, especially in the beginning, she is trying to get some help. Like, girl, <laughs> you out there, you know, working for the company and Spotify and whatnot. Put me on. I've been, you know, working on this music, but da, da, da. but you can clearly see that this friend could not care less to be bothered. That's the kind of friend that when you hang up, they talk shit about you on the phone. It's just like, oh my God, Shauna is so tunnel vision. She's still trying to do this rap thing. She should probably, you know, get over it. Like, girl, leave me alone. <laughs> she is not trying to hear anything she has to say. And then we have Mia. Mia is just so freaking over her baby father, not hoping, help me. Hey, nigga, like, help me out. I need some help. She uh, is really filling those woes of being a young single mom. And we even get introduced into another young mom via Mia's mother. Like, I was like, oh, you got one of them mamas. Them mama gotta have a life too ass mamas. <laughs> the fact that when they were speaking to each other and on the phone, it didn't even register to me that that was her mom. And it's just like, girl, and oh, we already know the situation. A lot of it is uh, very predictable. We know these characters. We know Mia's mom. We know even the outlook with Shauna in the, Barack Obama knockoff ass boyfriend in the long distance situation.
situation it's just kind of like we already know where we're going with these situations so it's kind of difficult to know what we have to look forward to besides them i guess blowing up within their rap careers but we do see that mia has stakes in this too and she does possibly want this just as much as shauna she wants to add some substance to her life she wants to really dive into the aspects of seduce and scheme <laughs> she really really thinks that this could be something but shauna wants so badly to rap about something with substance some wordplay some intellect but mia knows that that's not what sells and it's literally looking at shauna dumbfounded this episode because it's like girl you really <laughs> i really thought we were on to something i thought we were going to be more on that vibe of us being drunk seducing and scheming just you know having fun in the car i didn't know you were gonna hop back on this country shit low-key kind of wasting my time like i know this isn't gonna sell i'm a mom i got response girl what is good like come on we also see that shauna has a whole lot of top tier ass recording equipment just in her bedroom i'm like oh okay we are sharing an apartment with two other friends we have roommates but we can afford to have all this equipment so we see what she is using that extra money that fraud to pay for but for the most part we see that they are not agreeing mia is like if it works let's work it let's just and to keep it simple scheming money clothes cars let's keep it superficial put on some short dresses and get this money <laughs> we also see a lot of throwbacks here in this episode especially in the beginning via mia's group of friends we see tasha dominique perry here aka lawrence rebound from insecure it's a whole lot of insecure alumni here i think we saw a droll tall ass in the first episode tasha's here amal Issa's brother we know we love them all <laughs> brother from insecure is here one thing is gonna do is make sure everybody gets a check we also get more into shauna's relationship with her boyfriend mia is here of course she's making that money on only fans and his roommate seems to know who she is and you kind of already see the structures of their relationship beginning to fall apart <laughs> with him low-key feeling like she is compromising who she is by even associating with mia it's a whole bad look he's trying to be a politician of some sort so it, it is about image and all that good stuff for him and there are uh aspects of them just not spending enough time together or just lack thereof i just really i was not really getting into it but the episode does reinforce shauna you know whole journey from college to her career the friend that she had her you know where she was in the booth and just how much she really loves the art of rap and her career and how serious she takes it and just once again not wanting to compromise her visions her flow like I'm not trying to dumb it down I have something to say and this friend kind of leaving her behind and opting to go with another female rapper who has apparently blown up now what I did actually like about this episode was more so Mia in the co-parent situation that situation is all too real even a whole little meeting and he just can't seem to make it and he wants to be in on the parent teacher meeting through via facetime and just pretty much saying that the daughter is bright and you just kind of get into that single broken family dynamic of you know hey just think about what we could be or what our daughter could be if we were together she's clearly picking up on some of the mom vibes just being a little anxious a little angry ready to knock out a classmate and it's just like outside of that she's really smart and just also that uh extra layer of her wanting more money to maybe send her to a better school and the baby daddy coming through giving her four thousand dollars i was like oh he really a rapper <laughs> or he's more uh, on the technical side i thought he was just going to be one of those i'm in the studio as baby daddy but apparently we're making some type of money in the studio and lamont may not be as bad as we thought once again rj siler here he just lights up the screen for me and anytime we get to have him there it is just so genuine and natural and i really like the aspects of the story even though he just supposed to be some just bomb baby father <laughs> it, it, it it's good it's very well played and i also really enjoyed the girls trying to give it a second try and having that talk in the hotel about you know the art of female rap what the male gaze really is me and shauna just completely not agreeing on their image and their depiction or what they should rap about that whole take your power back i really like that conversation because the art of female rap and empowerment can be looked at from so many different sides and spectrums in many ways it doesn't always have to be what 
Shauna thinks it is, but we can all admit that it would be nice to have more diversity and it not just be twerking music, but that doesn't mean that we can't have fun. We can't, you know, let, let, let's get a little bit of everything, but no one gets to say what female empowerment really means. Would you? Because you can be empowered by a little Kim verse, as well as an MC Light verse, as well as an E verse, a Queen Latifah verse, or even a Cardi and a Nicki verse. But the problem is, unlike way back when, there's no diversity between the two. Everything is just one big fucking gumbo pot of sex, 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 sex. Scheme, take his money, then you dip on niggas. <laughs> so it'll be really interesting to see, uh, I guess, where they meet at in the middle. And we kind of get more in to it and when they go back to re-record and really try to make this a full-fledged record and they come together we even have them collaborate we have Mia on the ad-libs it's, it's 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 going pretty well I, I like what I heard and I'm looking forward to I guess their come up but I would like to look forward to a little bit more than the come up I know that's probably the main thing in the show and just the dynamics of their friendship or just their rap careers but it would be nice if every single aspect of the show was full fleshed out and I wasn't feeling so eh, or maybe a bit bored at times. Maybe just some of the jokes just not really sticking the landing for me but we do see those aspects of being empowered and Shauna really feeling herself at the end of the episode after they recorded their record and her really hopping on to have that good Skype FaceTime phone ass sex with her boyfriend which she have not been able to do because she's been really feeling insecure about herself, her life, her career where things are but in that moment she is feeling really lifted in the verse that she actually dropped even though it's not something that she would normally say and it's not as conscious as she would want it to be it's just fun you know shaking fast ass raps but it's like I did that shit I loved it it's a good time it's a good song and I'm looking forward to our future and you know we we uh they make plans to link up you know go to New York maybe have Shauna check to make sure he ain't trying to rub up against one of his friends <laughs> and just really uh stabilize their relationship moving further into the next episodes well you guys that was my review for episode two of rap shit uh i'm gonna continue to watch the show i have a feeling that the more i get to know about these characters and they just slowly unfold i'll get into the show more but right away it's not it's not speaking to me just yet but there are certain things that i like about the show and want more of and then other things you know not so much but I will be back, of course, with episode three. Please drop down and tell me what you guys thought about my reviews and what you thought about the show and if I missed anything. I see you guys next time. Bye.